Yeah, Look at all the DS's. That's an XL. 39. And an iPad. Ooh. I hope that works. Kate Spade purse. We are in the electronics department right now at Valley Village. There's an old school DVD player. Let's see if it opens. Yes, it opens. It's kind of cool. What is this? I have no idea what that is. This is interesting. A wind-up radio. I might have to grab that, actually. And what else do we have? The electronics, keyboards, keyboards. Oh, what's this? Oh, a JVC Discman. Oh, it's broken on the back. We'll have to put that back. That's too bad because some of the Discman, Walkman, they can go for some pretty good money on eBay. So that's too bad. This guy was standing at the end of the aisle watching me the whole time I was shopping in the electronics department. We have a microscope and this is a really cool iHome Bluetooth. Very cool. Look at all the DS's. That's an XL for $39 and an iPad. Ooh, Kate Spade purse, $129. I don't think so. Super cute bear pillow. Aw, it's cute. Or this one here. Oh, this is so sweet. It looks so soft and cuddly. And oh, Lightning McQueen. That's a cool pillow. That's a really cool pillow. I like that. They actually have some really nice pillows. Oh, here's a, a TMNT turtle pillow. That's cool. Very nice. Now let's take a look at some decor. What do they have? What is this? This is strange. Okay, I don't even know what that is. I guess it's just some art piece. Oh, very nice. I love this. Very cool. No markings on the back though, so I'll pass on that. This is pretty. Is this Japanese? What is this? That's very nice. No markings again, but yeah, that's really pretty. There's Batman. Candles, candles, candles. More candles. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, it's a candle. I thought it was made out of wood. <laughs> it's just a candle rabbit. And some more candle holders. That's pretty. Very nice. And how about this? On your dining room table. Very nice. Oh, take a look at that. That's kind of odd. <laughs> Different. Let's see what we can find in the little figurines. Oh, I love this little piggy bank. Oh, is this ever cute? <laughs> I have no space for that. And definitely not something that I would sell on eBay. That's kind of a ripoff of strawberry shortcake, I think. And let's look and look. Come on, we gotta find something in the knickknack area here. How about these seashells? I love it when they have seashells. They're so pretty. Very, very nice. Too pricey, and I've got nowhere to put it. <laughs> So we'll pass on those and no markings on that. So we'll pass on that. And what else, what else do they have here? Oh, that's kind of cool for a kid's room. Very cool. Mm, anything else? Oh, some owls. Oh, that's actually really nice, that figurine with the boy and the dog. Really pretty, I like that. Hmm, it's not looking very good in the knickknack area. Let's take a quick peek at pictures. Is there anything, anything, anything in the pictures? Take a look at this. This is a beautiful watercolor painting. It's professionally framed, 1997, but no signature, artist signature, anything. So I guess I'll pass. What's this? Oh, some Despicable Me Funko Pops. Fluffy. Hmm. Right. and just some plates that they usually have all the time. Ooh, I like this. That is very nice. Very nice. Let's see. These are different. Little glasses. $5.99 for the whole set. Not bad. And what else did they... Oh, is this ever cute? Oh, I love this little creamer with the little bird. And it's only $1.99. Wow, that's really pretty. If you love birds, that's beautiful. Let's check out the mugs. See if there's anything good to buy. 
always like a good mug. Let's see. What's that? No. Oh, these are cute, mini, goofy. I like those Disney ones. Oh, girl power. And a Starbucks. Oh, gross. Ooh, yuck. That's so gross. Starbucks, Scotland. Um, oh, this is cute. It's a little sloth mug. Ah, oh, I like that. We are now in the toy section. What is this Simon head thing? Hmm. Strange. I've never seen anything like that. Peppa Pig with no action figures in there. <laughs> hmm, what else do they have here that's interesting? Helicopter. Oh, this is kind of neat. That's Star Wars. This almost looks like a Star Wars battleship game. That's kind of cool. And what else do they have that's interesting? Oh, what's this? It's a different kind of gun there. Oh, these probably go with that headset thing, I think. And let's take a look at the bag, see if there's anything interesting in here. Oh, there's Olivia there. And just some random stuff and some puppet things it looks like. Hmm, nothing too interesting, so let's continue. And let's see what's on the shelf here. I think these are more kind of like the Fisher Price toys, I think. For Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a snowplow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that white is actually supposed to be on there. And what else do they have here? That looks old. An old toy. And this here. Kind of a neat, different kind of guitar, I guess. And some more random stuff. They have lots of toys, actually. Their toy section is actually quite big. And what else do we have? Oh, bags. More bags. There's bags all over the place. I'm finding a whole bunch of open bags all over the place. Here's a clock. That's kind of neat to learn how to tell time. That's really cool. I love learning toys. Educational toys. I love those. And hey, yeah, here we go. Here's some more bags with holes. It looks like people are opening them and taking what they want out of there. Not good. Not good. And some more cars, trucks, John Deere tractor there. Oh, and here's some more bags with holes. And oh, here's another one. Here's another one. They're all over in the toy section, just bags. Oh, here's Simon. I love Simon. I love playing Simon when I was younger. Love that game. And what's this? No, no. Oh, another bag with a hole in it. Actually, this is in really good shape. Wow, very cool. Like that. Anything else in the dolls here? Let's take a look now at the Barbies. They have hanging in the bags. Let's see if there's anything interesting to resell. Oh, what's this? <laughs> He's posing for you all. <laughs> ah, I guess nothing too much here. That's it. Let's pay and let's go home. All right, so we are back home from Value Village, and this is my awesome haul that I picked up today. We are going to actually start on the right and move that way because there's some cool stuff I want to show you over here. So let's just quickly go through these items here. So I got a pair of Skechers are actually in really good shape. They just have to, um, just the bottoms have to be cleaned up a bit. But other than that, they were $6.99. And uh, yeah, they're in actually in really good shape. And they are. So I love Skechers. They're so comfy, so comfy, especially for work. I love wearing them for work. And then I picked up this really nice picture frame. I thought it was just gorgeous for $2.99. Look at that. I just thought that was so pretty. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up this mug. It's kind of like a iridescent, kind of has some kind of like rainbow colors in it. It was only $1.99. It's a David's Tea. So it'll be perfect for when I want to 
steep my teas. So it's got the little cover on the top and I've been looking for a mug like that. So for $1.99, I thought that was an awesome deal and it's in excellent condition. So that'll be keeper. So far, all of these are keepers. And then we picked up this stethoscope because well, why not? Uh, $7.99. This we might, um, well, we're gonna make sure that it works first and this we might actually sell on eBay. So we're gonna check that out. Then I just picked up some bracelets for myself. It was just like a little three pack for $1.99. I really like those colors. I thought for, you know, spring, summer coming soon here, hopefully. I thought those were actually really pretty. So pick that up. And my husband picked up an Under Armour hat, just a red one, to give that a, a good wash. But it's in actually really good condition. That was actually only $3.49, so that was actually a really good deal for that. And then we picked up a package, a two pack for $2.99, some string lights, and they work on batteries. So yeah, I thought that would actually be kind of cool for some mood lighting or wherever you wanna put them. Or even, we could probably even use them for camping. So I'll just have them outside. So yeah, and they run on batteries, which is awesome. So yeah, so that was only two ninety nine. I really like that. And then some really cool stuff here. Check this out, Game Guard 3 pack, and what it is, it's for, check that out, for Nintendo 64 games. So they're actually cases. Let's see if I can pull this out. Actually, I'm just gonna put the camera down, so give me one second. Okay, so this is what they look like, right there. So you can actually put your 64 game in there, and they're, they're hard shell cases. Isn't that cool? for your loose ones, if you don't have any boxes. But yeah, I thought that was actually really cool. Look at that. See? You can put in your memory card, your game. Yeah, so I thought that was actually really cool. Especially if you've got some games that are worth a bit of money and you don't have the original box. That's actually really cool. I've never seen anything like that before, so that was a good find. And that was, let's see, $7.99 for the three pack. So that's actually really, really cool. And then we'll just skip over to this here. For $2.99, we got a couple of pocket games here. We got, it looks like, classic football, and it's Mattel. So that's actually kind of cool, old school. And then just a solitaire game. So, yeah, great for traveling or, yeah, I don't know what we're doing with these yet if we're going to sell these or keep these not quite sure yet we've been actually doing a lot of local sales recently on Facebook marketplace because eBay has slowed down big time so we have been selling too much on eBay lately but Facebook marketplace has been booming so we've been doing more local sales lately than eBay anyways these are the items I want to save for last year so for $39.99 we picked up a Nintendo DS Excel, look at that, and it does work. We turned it on. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Um, let's see here if it'll, there we go. So it does turn on, it's got power. The only thing is it didn't come with a charging cord, but we have a ton of charging cords. So that's not a problem, but there's, there you can see it does work. And we had a 20% off coupon for donating. So actually it only came to, I think, $32 with a 20% off coupon. And then I had another 20% off coupon for the rest of these items that we got 20% off of. So. so that was that. And then we also picked up, I believe this is an original DS, Nintendo DS. We opened the bags, I want to show you something. So this one was actually only $12.99. And it came with a charging cord, which was nice. And we haven't plugged it in yet, so we're not quite sure if this one works or not. We did try it in the store, but it's, I think the battery was dead. So we're going to have to plug it in and make sure it works. But anyways, so there you go. I think it's an original DS, just because of the shape of it. And there it is there. It just needs a good cleaning. It's just got some smears on it. But um, it's actually in really good shape. It just needs some cleaning. Um, it's not too scratched or anything like that. But check check this out where is it here take a look at this what came with it this was the main reason we actually bought it because we've seen this and it was like oh yeah we have to get this for 12.99 so 
Let me just flip this over. Sorry, doing this one-handed. Look at this. Pokemon Emerald version. And we double-checked. This is real. It is not a fake. It is a real copy of it. And this is selling for about 150 160 Actually, sold, not selling. Sold on eBay recently for about $150, $160 just for the cartridge. So what an awesome deal that was. What an awesome find. For $12.99, even if this thing doesn't work, <laughs> for $12.99, it was worth it for this. So yeah, that was a great, great find. We'll have to put that in and see if that works. And if it does, great. If not, at least we have a expensive game that we got. All right, so that is everything. It was a big, I guess, gaming, kind of a retro gaming, <laughs> uh, thrifting, shopping adventure today. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked all the finds. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell and check out some of my other playlists and videos. And we'll see you all in the next adventure.